the government to get it. Who's next? Kelly in Murphy, North Carolina. Hi, welcome to EIB Network. Hello. Hello. Uh, we cannot kill two birds with one stone here. Government and birth control. Let these women join the military. They can finish their law degree in the military and get contraception free. Well, uh, what do you mean we can't kill two birds with one stone? Oh, we, you said we can kill? Yes. Oh, we can okay. Kill. It's governmentally controlled. The government's giving it to them. There you go. They're going into the military. We're getting something back. Okay, three birds with one stone. And their contraception is being paid. Three birds with one stone. I like that. Uh, contraception is being paid. Well, I like people thinking on this. The creative efforts that are uh, being uh, developed here to provide women from Georgetown law unlimited, no consequences sex, join the military. All-American 1st Cavalry Amazon Battalion, formerly um, led by Sergeant Major Molly Yard. She's the one that scared Noriega out of where he was, old pineapple face. Jean in Claremont, Florida. Welcome to the EIB Network. Hi. Hi, Rush. Yeah, I have a question. All of our candidates have talked about pretty much the um, religious factor with the contraception. But I was just wondering, how come them and other Republicans aren't talking about the fact that all companies will have to provide the birth control and Unlike your other caller about the five dollar um, birth control, I know like generics can cost upward of eighty five plus dollars. So my point is, is this free birth control? I mean, are there statistics out there? How many women right now are on birth control, and then times that by a hundred bucks a woman? So who's paying for that? And then in the meantime, I know the senior who's on Medicare, who obviously deserves to have the Medicare working all their lives, and their singular um, for their asthma condition has just been up this current month. So I guess asthma is not a, you know, a threatening life condition, but yet pregnancy is some kind of disease. I was just wondering if there is any statistics out there, how much it is going to cost to provide everyone free birth control, or a senior is going to be paying for that. Yes. Everybody else is going to be paying for it. Where is the money? Everybody else is going to be paying for it via their own health insurance premiums. And whether it's a company-provided benefit or not, it's still money to you, out of your pocket, money you never see, if it's in the form of, a, of an employment benefit or something. Of course. Now, you ask, why aren't the Republicans talking about That's the point. They weren't talking about any of this. This is a totally... Manuf where did, how long do you think this fluke woman's been prowling the campus in frustration, waiting for her moment to go testify? You think this just happened and evolved naturally? All of this has been manufactured. None of this is real. It's all trumped up. And it's all part of a brilliantly conceived and flawlessly executed political plan by the Democrats. Obama was losing the women vote. In every poll you looked at, up until January, he was down big in women. He was down, he's down he's across the board, other than with blacks. And even with blacks, he's formed African Americans for Obama. Why would he need that? So this is page 1B of the Democrat Party playbook. Scare women. That's the title of the chapter. And then the various things in the chapter are accused Republicans of wanting to deny them abortion, keep them barefoot pregnant in the kitchen, take away their birth control. It's all there. They've tried this for years, decades. Soccer moms, NASCAR moms, whatever. It's all part of the playbook. You see, they can't, they can't go to women and say, look what we've done for you. Look at all the great things in our record that would warrant you voting for Obama again for four more years. So what they have to do 
is go scare everybody into what the Republicans are going to do. If you think birth control is expensive now, wait till it's free. When Obamacare fully kicks in, we are all being asked to pay for everyone's birth control pills. That's exactly, Gene, what this is about. 100%. We're all. That woman goes up to Congressional Committee and is asking for her contraception to be paid for so she can have unlimited, no consequences sex. A Congressional Committee gets its money where? Via taxes. In all of their various forms. 